Hi guys, this video will be about the assembly of this watch with a dial that I had painted on my own. The assembly of this watch will be more or less the same with the assembly of my other watches. The most critical thing in this project was the dial's thickness. I tried to keep the edges of the dial thin and therefore it is possible to put this dial in a rather small watch case as it normally should be for the dress watches. Having said all that, let's see this watch assembling. When assembling the watch, one should always start with the watch movement. First, we have to remove the minute and the second hands that the movement comes with. For this, we need a special tool for the watch hands removal. The painted dial does not have a hole for a second hand, which was entirely my decision. Therefore, I will have to remove the second hand pinion. The easiest way to do it is by using small cutters. Having removed the second hand pinion, I put the hour hand gear and the washer. I check that everything is in place and works perfectly. Now we are ready to attach the dial to the watch movement. Before painting the dial, I made some cuts as our markers, but it still took me some time in order to align the dial properly. The 3 o'clock position of the dial must be aligned with the crown. The feet of the dial go smoothly into their corresponding holes, while I press the dial firmly to the watch movement. I don't use gloves because in reality I don't touch the dial with my fingers as I put the paper inside which the dial had arrived. When the dial is firmly pressed against the movement, I turn the two screws that in turn tighten the dial feet. The dial will stay now in its place permanently. In order to put the watch hands, I use Rodico. If you don't use Rodico, you have to use something for a dial protection. First, I put the hour hand. It doesn't really matter at which position you put it first, but it must be firmly pressed onto its pinion and it should be totally parallel to the watch dial. Always check that everything is working properly and that the hour hand is parallel with the watch dial. In the end, put it at the exact hour marker. This time I have chosen the 12 o'clock marker. Next, I put the minute hand. Now the position of the minute hand is very important. I have put the hour hand at exact hour mark. So, the minute hand must show exactly 12 o'clock. Again, it must be firmly pressed onto its pinion and it should be totally parallel to the watch dial and therefore to the hour hand as well. Check that everything works perfectly. If there is any problem and it can be fixed by tilting the minute hand, then you will have to remove the watch hands and to repeat the whole procedure. At this point, I clean the watch case of any dust using the air blower and a clean dust removing cloth. Also, we need to remove the dust from the watch dial as well. You can use the air blower and the Rodico by gently pressing the Rodico at the points where you have spotted the specks of dust. If you don't spot any speck of dust, obviously you don't have to use the Rodico at all. In order to be able to put the watch movement and the dial inside the watch case, we first have to remove the crown with its stem. For that we have to unscrew just a bit the screw holding the stem inside the movement. Don't unscrew it more than you need. There might be huge problems if you unscrew it more than you should. Maybe you will even have to buy a new movement. First, unscrew it half a turn, which is 180 degrees, and try to pull the stem out. If it doesn't go out, 
continue with the quarter turns, which are of 90 degrees, until the stem comes out. Now we can easily encase the movement and the dial. For this I usually use the same protective paper that I used for the dial protection. Usually I first adjust the length of the crown stem, but this time I decided first to put the mounting screws. As I have already said, I tried to keep the dial's edges thin, in order for it to fit in this small case. But I was not entirely sure that their thickness is suitable for this case. So, in case you can put the mounting screws properly, then your dial is thicker than it should be. And you either have to file off a bit of the paint at the dial's edges or buy a suitable watch case that can accommodate dials with larger thickness. But as a result the watch case will be much bigger than this one. Now that I am sure that this dial can be accommodated in this watch case, I will adjust the length of the crown stem. First I remove the crown that came with the movement and put the crown that came with the watch case. Then I put the crown stem inside the movement and check that it is in the proper position. Then I measure the distance between the crown and the watch case. And this will be the part that I have to cut from the stem from the side where the crown is screwed on. I always cut a bit less and then use the file in order to achieve the exact fit, repeating last steps several times. When I achieve the perfect fit of the crown, I tighten the screw that holds the stem inside the movement in two steps and check that everything works perfectly. You can use Rodico to clean the movement surface from any possible fingerprints and dust. As always, be careful and do not touch the balance wheel. Then I put the back of the case. Obviously first it must be cleaned from dust using air blower and clean cloth. I give few spins until I see that the case back is screwing in properly. And then I tighten it using a special ball that I have bought from AliExpress. Finally we have to put the strap. This specific strap has built-in mounting pins which makes its installation rather easy. Every time check that the strap stays in its place. I am very happy with the end result. Making these unique watches has so many benefits. First of all, you obtain a unique watch which says a lot on its own. You can paint anything you want and the decision regarding the watch hands, case and obviously the strap is entirely up to you. In the description I will put the links for everything that I have mentioned in my video. I hope you liked this video and I wish you all the best. Bye bye for now.